In this demo, we show how Solonis's leading process mining and execution management platform reveals hidden inefficiencies that organizations can't see, and how ServiceNow's leading low-code workflow platform fixes those inefficiencies by creating digital experiences for everyone. It's no secret that work is broken. We expect work to flow across people, processes, and technology. However, complexity embedded in those interactions creates inefficiencies everywhere. Work doesn't flow, and it's impacting the top, bottom, and green line. So, let's fix what's broken by combining enterprise-grade process mining and execution management with hyper-automation. Together, Solonis finds and frames inefficiencies by X-raying systems and then quantifying the value of potential changes. ServiceNow then fixes what's broken by modernizing, remediating, and enriching how work flows. Okay, let's jump into the demo. Rachel, our order management leader, uses Solonis to track the company's performance across 1.3 million sales order items, giving her a real-time view of how customer orders are fulfilled. What worries Rachel today is the on-time in full OTIF rate, which measures how many orders are delivered complete and at the right time. The OTIF rate has been declining over the past months and impacting customer satisfaction. Hence, Rachel directs her analyst, Alex, to take a closer look. Our analyst, Alex, investigates the order management process to find root causes of our low OTIF rate. Salonis extracts digital footprints from systems in real time to render execution graphs of how work flows across the organization. With this X-ray, Salonis tracks sales orders from creation to fulfillment and clearing of the invoice, based on transactional and user interaction data. However, these are only the most common process steps. When expanding the graph, we discover deviations from our standard process, such as credit blocks and missed delivery dates. As we continue to expand the graph to include every possible path a sales order could take, we see a complete mess. This is what broken work looks like. Work isn't flowing. To make sense of all the broken work, Solonis helps Alex frame the impact of each inefficiency to focus on what matters most. Every improvement opportunity that Alex suggests to Rachel is tied to quantifiable value that justifies the fix. Let's dive into each of the top inefficiencies to understand where the process is broken and how to fix it. Alex selects the top inefficiency, delivery blocks. He starts to explore how orders truly flow. He discovers how SAP is automatically placing various blocks on orders and how order managers try to remove them. The result is a total mess, affecting 230,000 sales orders or $360 million of order value that is delivered late due to these blocks. Salonis also prioritizes the most common delivery blocks impacting late delivery. These blocks are all too common in organizations that have customized their ERP systems massively over years and where no one truly knows how the system supports the process. The IT system obviously isn't supporting the process, causing a lot of manual touches and variation. Alex decides to build a modern workflow to replace broken SAP functionality and simplify and automate the process. Next, Alex turns to ServiceNow to create a playbook that automates order processing steps and guides order managers in reconciling errors, replacing broken SAP functionality. Let's look at this workflow through the eyes of Marcus, one of our order managers, who logs into his workspace to see all open orders that require his attention. Unlike SAP, with its limited functionality and user instructions, Marcus is now being guided in performing necessary sales order validation steps, combining powerful automation with human-in-the-loop steps. With ServiceNow, Marcus adheres to the desired workflow, providing him with a seamless user experience. Through this simple yet powerful workflow, sales orders are processed in a standardized and automated manner, reducing manual touches and internal cycle time, impacting OTIF. Alex now turns his attention to credit blocks impacting OTIF. Salonis shows him how many days credit blocks are adding to cycle time. Credit blocks are helpful for organizations to manage risk. However, many of these blocks seem to be set for no reason. Alex sees that 140,000 blocks are placed on customer orders that have a low credit limit but high on-time payment rate. And nearly every time, the block is manually removed afterwards. This is an all-too-common master data issue, where changing customer buying behavior is not reflected in the transactional system. With Salonis and ServiceNow, processes can be monitored for these situations and remediated if found without changing the underlying transactional system. To remediate the issue of unnecessary credit blocks, Alex creates an action flow in Salonis that continuously monitors sales orders for credit blocks. If a credit block is found, Salonis evaluates the block by analyzing order and payment histories before initiating the remediation workflow in ServiceNow. 
In ServiceNow, Alex creates a workflow to guide credit analysts from the initial reviewing of the Salonis Insight to updating the customer credit limit in SAP to the actual removal of the credit block in SAP. Let's look at this workflow through the eyes of John, one of our credit analysts, who logs into his workspace to see all the credit blocks that require remediation. Clicking on the task, John sees a playbook that guides him in taking the necessary remediation steps. With ServiceNow, John not only remediates credit blocks faster, but also has a better experience than previously, where he engaged with credit blocks via the respective transaction codes in SAP. Alex next focuses on delivery date changes impacting OTIF. Delivery dates can change for many reasons. Alex sees that for 30,000 sales orders, delivery date changes are caused by insufficient internal lead times. Most of the sales orders are manually entered in SAP, and people receive only limited feedback via the respective transaction codes as to whether information they key in makes sense or not. To fix this inefficiency, Alex recognizes that user interfaces have to be enriched with additional insights to prevent later delivery date changes. Alex turns to ServiceNow to quickly create a new order entry portal. In ServiceNow, Alex creates a new portal to allow customer service representatives to enter sales orders. Once submitted, the sales order is automatically created in the SAP system. For every field, Alex defined data validation rules that dynamically query Salonis. For example, one rule checks if the requested delivery date is within the internal lead time window. ServiceNow knows this because it queries Salonis in the background to measure the KPI in real time. This way, Alex improves customer experience by providing more accurate information when they place orders. Customer service representatives are also able to create orders with fewer touches, and they receive immediate feedback about potential data entry errors before the sales order enters SAP. Let's fast forward three months. We can see that the workflow fixes we implemented in ServiceNow have streamlined the workflow. We now also see new activities in the execution graph that we implemented in ServiceNow and less mess overall. So work really seems to flow better than before. And not only are the fixes visible in the simpler workflows, but also in the business metrics. As Rachel sees, we were able to meaningfully improve customer satisfaction through improved OTIF. So let's recap what we just saw. We saw how business users across various departments and levels improve their work with Salonis and ServiceNow. We saw how Rachel is using Salonis to track key metrics in real time across her organization, and how Alex identified broken work causing hidden inefficiencies. Marcus, the order manager, is now using a modern workspace to be more productive in processing sales orders. John, in finance, is remediating credit blocks that don't make sense. Finally, customer service representatives have a new sales order entry portal that's powered by Salonis Insights to validate data before it enters SAP. And these are just three examples of how Salonis and ServiceNow drive customer satisfaction. Salonis finds and frames broken work, and ServiceNow fixes it by modernizing, remediating, and enriching workflows. Together, we're realizing the power of digital transformation by aligning everyone in the organization around a common goal to perform at levels never thought possible by simply making work flow.